Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how amazing and easy it is in RPG Builder version 1.1 to create your own keybinds for your game, as well as for your players to change them directly in game to anything they want. So, first of all, here as you can see I have a character, right? Um, and I have a fireball ability assigned to my first action bar slot. And as you can see here, we can see the keybind stop right. So if I now press the key number 1, I'm going to cast the fireball ability as expected. Now, if my player uh, wanted to change his key, for example, to Y, he can now just go in the menu, change um, key number one to Y, go back to the game, and by pressing Y, he can now change uh, or rather use the ability, right? And this new keybind will be displayed, etc. This was already possible before in RPG Builder, uh, before version 1.1, but the entire process has been made a lot easier and especially for you as a developer to create your own keybind, which is what I'm going to show you in a bit. Now, another thing I want to um, tell you before getting into the editor part, the entire UI that you see here, so the categories as well as every single keybind under each category, all of that is now generated automatically for you by RPG Builder. And I'm going to show you how to define these things in a bit. So you don't have anything to do for this menu. All of this is done for you. And um, pretty much the only thing left you have to do is to make it look pretty matching the uh, style of your UI, etc. So that's it. Now let's go in the um, RPG Builder part of things, so the editor. To create your own keybinds and keybinds category in 1.1, you simply go to settings, general, and here you have um, action keys. So if we click on action keys here, we now have access to action key categories and action key lists. The first here is very easy. It's just basically um, a list of names of categories that you want your keybinds to be part of. So here we have movement, combat, UI, and camera. And just as a reminder, it's exactly what you see here in this menu, right? So here we have menu, combat, UI, um, I mean movement, combat, UI, and camera. So those categories here are used by RPG Builder to generate your in-game UI, okay? Now, this is for kind of like the UI part, but um, here action key list is where you actually create your keybinds. And I already added quite a nice list already and there are going to be more for um, RPG Builder version 1.1 for the demo, but you can add your own very easily. Um, and what you have to do pretty much when you create your own keybind is um, to assign an action name. So this of course needs to be unique because it will um, basically identify this specific action key. So for example, here you see that I have combo two, combo one, uh, UI panel character. So for example, this means opening the character panel, right? Uh, jump, so this key will be to jump with your character, move left, move right, action bar slot six, etc., etc. So here could be anything. So for example, if you had a custom uh, UI panel or whatever, you could call this UI um, panel, um, I don't know, maybe socketing. I mean, socketing is in RPG Builder anyway, but let's say that could be a name. And here the display name is what's going to be visible for your players in the UI. So this name here. So for example, if I look at a character panel here, and I go back to the editor, you see that this name is not really pretty, but it's good to have in the editor. It's easy to identify extra. But what we show to the player is just character panel. Now, um, the first thing is you have to choose a default key. You do not have to actually pick one. So it's totally fine for the default key to be known. Your players are just going to be uh, starting the game with no keybind assigned to this action key and they will be able to decide their own if they want to. But if you do want a default one, such as of course very important for movement, combat things, etc., then you will choose the default keys here um, from all the available keys provided by uh, the Unity input system. Now below that we have a is unique field. If you turn this on, it means that when your players try to um, set a different keys to any of the other keybind, it's first going to check if the key they try to use is already used. And if it is, it's not going to be available for them because this specific one was marked as unique. So for example, if you wanted the W key for the movement to be 
purely for movement and they can't use it for something else you will tick on is unique and that way they will have to bind it to something else and then um they will be able to use this key right now below that lastly we have the uh, movement uh, rather the category right and this lets you pick uh, from all the different categories you define here of course this could be deleted replaced you can add your own etc for now i just added those i may add a few more uh, for the demo but here as you can see for example action bar slot one well it's under the combat categories and because we put it under the combat categories here when we generate the UI, it is under the combat category in the UI also. It's very simple, very straightforward, and it just makes it very easy for you to uh, create your own key binds. So yeah, I'm very happy with um, this new system. And also the cool thing now is that, for example, for the combo system, I'm probably going to make an updated video, but what this is allowing us is um, directly now in the editor, we can have access to specific action keys, right? And do things with that. So for example, here we see recently added combo system before, um, combo had only two options for what key should trigger the combo. The first option was to use the same keys that whatever ability started it. So, for example, if I started a combo with um, the fireball ability, then whatever combo after that could be using the same Y key right here, right? So that we could continue with the same keys. So this was option one. Option two was to override the key. So, for example, you could set override. It was not looking the same before, but you could set override and then pick whatever key you wanted to be kind of stuck to this specific component, okay? But now the third option is action key. And this, as you can see, let us speak from uh, all the action keys we created in the editor under the settings, which has just uh, showed before. So, um, and here that's very cool because now we could choose combo one because I created combo one and combo two action key. Here, same, for example, it could be action key combo one, action key combo two. And now uh, in your game design, you could have another um, combo, for example, heavy strike or whatever, which is happening at the same time as quick strike, but now they will have their own keys. And so, for example, combo uh, quick strike could use combo one key and combo heavy strike could use combo two key and combo one and combo two could be defined by your players in the game settings um, as they want. So, yeah, that's just very cool. Um, I'm happy with the system, very flexible. And once again, um, I'm happy to add more and more directly inside the editor instead of you having to tweak some prefab or some component or things in the inspector etc it's just much easier to uh, use so now you just go under general settings general and create all of that in the editor and then everything is available for you the ui is generated for you etc so yeah let me know what you think of it i hope you like it uh, definitely leave a comment and let me know in discord and thank you for watching see you in the next video